Welcome back to another edition of This Week in Bellman Athletics. I'm Sid Abramson. I'm Tabor Lewis. We had a pretty busy weekend going on. Friday, uh, the soccer teams were back in action. They had a doubleheader against Maryville. The women won 3 to nothing, and then the men won 1-0. Yeah, another impressive win for the women's soccer team on Sunday with a 2-1 victory against Missouri St. Louis. Lauren Boyd and mm -hmm. Mary Beth Gorham actually scored the goals for Bellarmine, and then our men won one to nothing. Mm -hmm. So, big weekend for them. Yes, very big weekend. Cross Country was also in action. They were away performing in the GLVC um, Invitational, actually yep. the tournament. Yep. And they performed really well. The, th the men finished third overall. The women finished fifth. And uh, we, fe we featured Emily Frith a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and she had a tremendous uh, performance. She actually won the individual competition uh, for the 6K. Yep. And she and finished she... Uh, 21 minutes, 12 seconds, yeah. which is 25 seconds ahead of the second place yep. finisher. It so. was really, really <laughs> impressive. So, congratulations to her. For this edition's highlight of the week, we're going to be featuring Keiston Jones, senior point guard, uh, actually shooting guard this year, on the basketball team. Uh, he's got a lot to do, six new freshmen coming in, and uh, hopefully he's going to be able to spread that experience. Yeah, as athletes, we both know how important it is to have a senior to look mm -hmm. up to and to have a really good leader as a senior. And we also know as seniors, mm -hmm. um, we were both ath athletes in high school and now do things in college, yeah. so we understand how important it is to be a leader for a freshman. So Keaston is doing a really good job of that. Yeah, it really is. And there's other, you know, there's other seniors. Uh, Vance Hall, we, we had him on last week, and he's going to use his experience as well. But you know, uh, with Reese Gaines and other coaches, you know, they use their professional experience to teach the younger guys. And I think Keaston really has the ability to learn from not only from his own self and the other team members, but from Reese Gaines as well. So here's what he has to say about that. Basically, just to uh, take the experience that we've gathered over these few years. Uh, these past four years and, uh, you know, reach out to the young guys, get them to buy into the concepts and uh, really grasp this whole thing or what it takes to, you know, win at the highest level. A lot of shooting in practice, a lot of drills, new drills, a lot of things just to get everybody accustomed to the speed of the game, especially since we have six new guys and a transfer, uh, you know, so it's, it's key that we get them, you know, used to how it is to play player. It's especially, you know, Reed, someone who's had NBA experience can really come in uh, like he did last year and help all, all of us, you know, get better. You know, he, he sees the little things still from the player side and, you know, the coaches still have the coaching experience and they see it from their side. We have a very busy Halloween week coming up. I feel like all the games are going to be before Halloween so everybody can go out and trick or treat. Do you trick or treat? I do. I actually do trick or treat and it's fun. You know, I, I like to. I take my little cousin out, you know, and it's kind of an excuse to, hey, trick or treat, can I get Yeah, some you should probably let off the candy. He is training for the Iron Man, so people need to tell him that he cannot hey, you eat gotta have pounds sugar. and pounds of candy. Gotta have sugar. Good Twizzlers, sugar. Crunch no, Bars, Kit Kats. Apples, Kat. strawberries, apples, bananas. Strawberries. You need to get good, good sugars. No, I can do that Natural any other sugars. day. Halloween's a special occasion. All right, well, what I'll are you come by be? to your house you and gonna I'm gonna be Bam Bam. Oh, yeah, I was okay. Bam Bam. I got a little stick, a little, little Bam Bam stick for mm -hmm. the fun stuff. It goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, well, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. What are you going to be? I was a Harlem Globetrotter this past weekend, and our house actually won a Halloween costume contest, so that was pretty ah. cool. We teased our hair and scrunched it up and made <laughs> afros, and that was really awesome on Saturday, but yesterday I really oh, regretted it because brushing my hair was a nightmare. Especially when you had to do the big ethics paper that we had to work on. I'm yes, sure fun, so, so we have had a busy weekend. Well, Bellman Athletics is back in action this week, like I said before. Halloween. On Tuesday, the volleyball team is going to be playing Kentucky Wesleyan. Mm -hmm. I believe it's 7 o'clock. It is 7. I'm thinking about Twizzlers now. Do your research. Do your <sighs> research. I did you my research. Stay focused. I'm what thinking about gonna Twizzlers. I'm going to think about different candy. I don't know candy. what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to think about I'm the backbone candy. of this, just so okay. all of our viewers well, know. If that's what you think, then that's what you think. Well, <laughs> the men and women's soccer teams are back in action as well. On Wednesday, mm -hmm. they have a double header. They're going to be playing University of Southern Indiana. Yes. I've been having problems with this. They're going to be playing Southern University of Southern Indiana at 4 o'clock. Yes. And the men will be playing at 6 30. And the men and women's basketball teams will be kicking off their seasons with their exhibition games. On Saturday, the men's basketball team will be playing Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, the women will be playing Ohio State. So, huge weekend for Oh, yeah, that's going to be big. Basketball. They're both away, obviously, but this gives them, you know, a practice. Obviously, yeah. for what's to come. Two weeks after that, they're, they're back. They're here at Knights Hall for yeah. the uh, home openers, and they're ready to go. Yeah, you know, we're going to have Chancellor Dugan on. We're going to yes. have Chancellor Dugan next week, uh, the women's head coach. She's yes. going to be able to talk about, you know, what they're expecting and for your women's basketball and, and – Hopefully they can do well this year as well. So. Yeah, we're really excited about it, and that's a wrap for this week. We'll be bringing to you Monday the scores from all these big games. We have a lot to look forward to. We may have a surprise for you all on Monday. Uh-oh. Not exactly sure, <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm Tabor Lewis. I'm Sam. Go Knights. <laughs> what do we not do?